stay tuned everyone and watch the video to the end hello everyone this is mary hand to hands um i know it's been a while since you've seen me i had some things that's going on and one of the things uh i had a major accident on the tent so i want to post in more and a lot of things i want to show you but i'm not able to at this time uh, on the 10th of april i had an accident it was a tragic accident i just thank god i'm still here i was going down a road that i normally go and i go different ways sometimes but i feel like that was the easiest way because uh i had to go pick up my, my grandson from daycare about six o'clock but i had time to stop to the bank or i was on the way home but i had time to stop by the bank because it was my grandbaby birthday so i was going to ask her to ride with me but it was something told me, it was holding me back to say no i didn't want her to do that so when i left i wish i would left later but what's going to happen is going to happen but as i left um i was almost to my destination and the lady came out my light was green hers was yellow and she made the left turn right in front of me she didn't yield or nothing it's like when i i was going like southbound she was going northbound and she would have kept straight yeah her light would have been green but she turned to the caution light where she's supposed to stop but she did not and she hit me so hard it's like everything my chest my legs I cannot move them. It's just like my car starts smoking. But um, it just, it was just a tragedy. I just thank God I'm still here. Thank God I'm still alive. And uh, I was scrolling through my phone. The first person I called was my, my daughter. And I knew she was in a meeting at the time. But she didn't answer. And I understood that. But I called my grandbaby because she always answered her phone. And as I called her, I knew she would call everyone else because my phone was like on 6%. And the phone completely came out from the charger. The charger was, it was, it was like this part right here. It got stuck inside. So I only had like about 5 6%. And I immediately called my son afterwards. I, I called a doctor friend of mine. And so far, my son and everybody else started calling me, and I felt more relief. But it was, it was so bad. It's like when the ambulance did come, the fire truck. I was trying to open my door. I was saying, "Please, someone help me! Someone help me!" It's like even the driver, the one that hit me, she didn't must come to my car and say, "Ma'am, you okay or anything?" So I think she had like two other people in the car. And that's all I heard was a young man come to me saying, oh, I got hit too. I was like, but uh, I knew I was the first car I got hit driving the southbound. Um, yeah, I just, I in so much pain, but when they did, I knew something was broken. L long story short, I knew something was broken uh, in my body, but I, I just thought the airbag had hit me so hard in my chest my steering wheel bust it's like the back seats of my car like I, i'm gonna show you pictures the back seat of my car had bent and i never seen a car uh do that before and my, my window shattered everything and it took them like 20 25 minutes for me to get out the car and uh, when i was getting out i was hollering and screaming just let them know i was in pain but the guy the one that was in the ambulance, he, he, I guess he wasn't taking me serious. He was like, well, ma'am, I'm just trying to get you out of the car. Yes, I'm just trying to get me out, but I'm in pain. Just take it easy. I'm doing the best I can because I'm the kind of person I always trying to help myself. I don't try to just have everybody to put the weight on everybody. I'm always helping myself. But after that, they finally got me on the stretcher, and I end up in a ditch. But after that, they finally took me to the hospital. I found I had three broken bones uh, in my knee. And 
Um, and they just, it's this whole leg. I cannot move at all. Please continue on praying for me because this would be a tough recovery for myself. And it's like they only want me to do like 5% of pulling. I got to do everything. And that's something I'm not used to. I'm used to being strong and doing things on my own. But it's tough. I just have y'all, just ask y'all to pray for me. And I'm continuing on sending y'all videos of my upcoming and see how I'm healing and stuff like that. But I will be back. And I will be back to show y'all so many things. Um, just just pray for me, the, my strength, my health, and everything to come together. And, and it will. It just uh, it's gonna take a little time, but I will heal. And everyone, please like and subscribe and follow me on this journey. Uh, I got a long way to go, so I'm gonna post every chance that I get. And I thank you so much for watching this video. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye for now. Yeah.